it's your girl Katie Atuberry for Street Voices and today we are at the Black Velvet Market held by Velvet Season Studios here in Ajax in support of different entrepreneurs and business owners throughout the Durham region. Make sure to stay tuned to support and check out all the amazing entrepreneurs and business owners that were here today. Robert from Robinson Sauces, and boy, do we got a special treat for y'all. How are you doing today? We're doing great. It's been an awesome day. We sold out the sauces fairly quickly. Uh, it's about 1.30, and we sold out. Um, what made you get into uh, making sauces? This lady right here. So if you can see that, that's my mother, uh, my late mother, she passed six years ago and she's been very passionate about sauces. Uh, I remember growing up in the kitchen with my mom, she would always talk about love, passion, cooking from the soul. Hey y'all, so I'm here with Amira, who is the founder of Cambria Beauty. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, so Cambria Beauty is an all-natural skincare brand. Uh, the name Cambria is actually fun fact. Both of my daughter's names combined together. So for me, it's very important to include them. And uh, everything is all natural, made from home, luxurious, but affordable. Okay, luxurious, but affordable. You guys hear that? Hey, y'all, uh, I'm here with Cece, who is the founder of Buy Cece Collection. How are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. You look fabulous. I'm loving the face. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about your business. Um, so this is Spicy Collection. Um, I do sell accessories. I do custom accessories as well. Um, I have some socks. We just recently introduced um, some clothing as well, more so online. Um, we have some pins um, as well. And of course, we have our headbands, socks, um, hair ties and hair clips um, beautiful so what inspired you to start this business um well i am a mom of two at the time i was probably only had my daughter china um and i was still a young mom so i like to go out and shop and i just couldn't fathom spending 30 dollars on a pair of earrings because i would probably be going out the whole weekend and i'm not paying 60 dollars for pairs of earrings so i decided to have my own hey y'all i'm here with natalie who is the founder of Donna use and we are here at her table today how are you doing I'm doing great I'm awesome thank you <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your business so my business was established about five years ago but it came off the cusp of my dad passing away so he's been gone for about 11 years and I wanted to take what he's done for the Toronto community and change it and bring it to their table so he was outside at the back of the clubs outside the clubs selling jerk chicken with that great drum pan smell, flavor, but I didn't want to be on the streets after he passed. So I said, how can I take that flavor and bring it to tables of Toronto? Because they were still asking for it. So aside from the jerk sauce and the barbecue sauce, you actually also created the um, ginger shot. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. So the ginger shots, I created, what are we in now, two years of COVID? Yeah, I, I believe track. so. I lost track too. <laughs> but I wanted to find a way to keep my kids healthy and boost their immune because you eat, we're scared. We're in a time that we were so scared. So I added the ginger shots. I started at home. All my products really started at home. And then, you know, I started branching them out. So the ginger shots is just really ginger, turmeric, and lemon, and it boosts your immune system. It's not bad. It's because I like ginger. I love ginger actually. The only thing that it's missing is sugar. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then it would be ginger beer. <laughs> We are here at the Black Velvet Market, hosted by Velvet Season Studios, and we are here with Vanessa and Missy. How are y'all doing today? I'm great. Nice. So, when did you first uh, open the studio? We opened the studio in September of 2021. So we've been open for just over five months now, um, and you know, it was something that was missing in the Durham region. You know, there's a lot of creatives around here, and we really, really wanted to hone that creativity and keep it in Durham. So, Amazing. Um, you know, a lot of spaces like this. Exist in Toronto and, and the York region and stuff, and so we wanted to bring it home. 
So, yeah. And y'all did something a little bit different because today we are at the market. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So, um, in honor of Black History Month, uh, we wanted to do something to support local Black entrepreneurs. Um, myself being an, a minority and an owner, a business owner, we felt that it was fitting to have Black vendors and entrepreneurs come sell their products and have the community involved as well so they can come in, shop, um, and then also check out the space. What inspires the both of you? Creative people. Um, I think the more creativity that comes through this place, the more fired up we get. Um, you know, I find our, our, the energy, we just feed off of other people. And even today, like the energy in here has been really, really amazing. And we're feeding off of that. We get excited. And, you know, you get pumped. And, you know, my feet hurt, but like I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready to keep on going. So, yeah, <laughs> for a good sign. <laughs> inspires me is collaborations. So one of our main goals in having this place is to do a lot of collaborations with other small businesses, right, artists, entrepreneurs, and that is in itself, in itself super exciting. You'll see on our social media that we try to team up with other locals and do some really good giveaways for people in the community, right? So knowing that COVID Kind of had us all at home for so long. We want we wanted to get people out here, people back more engaged, face to face, right? So that's kind of like our what our goal and our mission is moving forward. I'm your girl Katie Asu for Street Voices. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Duh. Um, also check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Street Voices, and follow Velvet Season Studios on their social media platforms as well, and continue to support. We'll catch you next time.